Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Well, one of my favorite Google Tech experts, Justin Burr, he just arrived in the studio for us to take a look at, you know, you guys are stay at home, shuttered at home, quarantined at home, homeschooling, all of those at home. But he's got some information for you to connect to the world. Justin, welcome back to the Valder BB Show. Hey, always a pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right. People are looking for ways to stay connected at home. And more and more people are turning to video chat with their family and colleagues and uh, class members. Give us some idea what Google Meet can help us do, because I heard it's now free. You're right. It is free. And yet, as you mentioned, you can do all of those things, just connecting with individuals, whether that's in a business setting with friends and family. You know, Mother's Day was this past Sunday. Hanging out with your mom in a virtual setting is always a lot of fun. Doing fun things, playing games with your friends over video chat. It's awesome. So Google Meet is here to meet all of those different needs. It's our premium video conferencing service. It is now free, and you can just get started in, in two clicks. Go to meet.google.com, and you can just sign in and just click start meeting. You can click join meeting. You can invite friends. It's as simple as that. So, yeah, whether you're, you're in a business setting, you're just trying to hang out with your friends, meet.google.com is the place to get started. Okay. Uh these people are having that who are shuttered at home. They're having all of these meetings, but you know I'm seeing these un undesirable backgrounds. That's what I'll call them. You know, people like sitting in a filthy kitchen, you know, or a messy office. Do you guys have something to help them with those backgrounds? Definitely. I, I think that that's something that's somewhat overlooked. You know, you get on a video chat, you think that they're just seeing you, but you're right. There are things in the background that maybe are a little bit unsightly or kind of detracting from the attention of the actual call. And so for that, you know, just just have take a couple seconds before you get on that call and just make sure that there's nothing behind you that is going to be distracting. You know, I've got my bookcase back there. I think that that's something that's that's generally fine. Again, you don't need to rearrange your entire living space to make sure that it's a good background. But yeah, just try to tidy up a little bit. And I think the, the, the main thing is just have something that people aren't going to be focusing on because they should be focusing on you. Also, a couple other things that always make a video call nice is having a light in front of you. And so you're not backlit, you're not silhouetted. If you can have that lighting source in front of you, it lights your face, makes you nice and bright, and makes you an easy person to interact with. And then also having the camera at eye level is a good thing as well. What I try to think about is just, if I was having a conversation with somebody in real life, I would want to be you know, generally at eye level. I wouldn't want to be too close to the camera and I wouldn't want to have a lot of stuff behind me that's really distracting. So I think if you keep those three things in mind, you're going to set yourself up for success. Okay, what about security? I heard yesterday uh, in the city of Dallas, the school board was having a meeting and people hacked it and came on with no clothes on, saying profanities. I'm sure that was quite embarrassing. And it wasn't your, it wasn't your uh, application. Yeah. Yeah, that's not that's not what you want, obviously. You know, that's a pretty extreme case, but also you just don't want people coming into your call you don't want to chat with. So Google is Google Meet and, and all of our products really are, you know, safe safe by default. And what we mean by that is that it's built upon the security and privacy practices that we infuse into all of our products. And so there's a couple of things that Google Meet does specifically to make sure things are secure. First off, all of our meeting codes are really complex. So people aren't gonna be able to guess them and then just hop into your call. And on top of that, the person that actually created the call in the first place is going to be able to admit or deny individuals from entering in the conversation. So they're going to be prompted to either let in a participant or not let in a participant. Also, all of the Google Meet calls are encrypted. So it keeps things really safe and secure, keeps people that are in the conversation that you want to be in the conversation, and it doesn't allow individuals from just hopping in your call if you don't want them to be in there. I feel much better already. Justin, once again, how can they get started? Because I know people, they need other people, and this is a way for them to meet and be connected to other people. Totally. Yeah, it's it's meet.google.com is the way to get started. And you're right, it, we are all craving that type of human interaction right now. And, and I think a lot of these practices that we're employing right now are going to remain after things go back to normal, because oftentimes you're not in the same um, place as a lot of the people you want to interact with. So Google Meet is an awesome alternative to actually that face to face human to human interaction that we're all wanting right now. As I finally, as I wrap up, I would love to know what, what does Google see in a vision? You guys are visionaries to me. 
What do you guys see after this pandemic technology-wise for Google Meet and Google itself? What are you guys seeing there? That's a great question. I think a lot of the video conferencing practices, again, are going to remain. I think a lot of these, we're starting to understand that you know, there is no substitute for being in the same room with somebody, but the video conferencing stuff you know, that is such a great substitute for it if we have to do that. And I think a lot of those practices are going to remain even outside of the business setting. Like I think just interacting with friends and family on Google Meet is such a fun way to do it. And it, oftentimes it's hard to be in the same room with somebody. So yeah, after this thing is settled back to normal, I think the video conferencing practices will hopefully remain. I've been having a lot of fun with them. I have been also too. Justin Bird, thank you so much for always having visionary information from Google. I really appreciate it. Hey, thanks for having me. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder BB Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely. <laughs>